Hello there, race fans. Racing Legends Part 2 is upon us. And before you can race, it's probably a good idea to know a little bit about the rules. So what we're going to go over in this video is the official blog post on Racing Legends Part 2. So with that, let's get into it. Uh, prepare for the comeback of the Racing Legends mode. It's time to show who's the fastest captain on the track and earn some prizes while you're at it. And so let's check out what the rules are. So the rules this time is you won't be able to shoot, but you will be able to launch torpedoes and use other random but powerful consumables. Go try it out and see for yourself. There's also one new track and you'll have a choice between one of two available ships. And these are the same ships that they had last year. The track, the third track, is not really ready for prime time. Uh, it's not really been used to this point, but the two tracks they had last season, uh, the long long course where it was um, essentially one lap, and then the racetrack course, which was two laps, it's basically a short track, is, um, is also there again. But there are some changes in the physics of the game compared to last year. Uh, to me, uh, being a Formula One fan, it's very similar to now you're in a new season with a new car and you just have to get used to everything again. But there is a groove once you find it and you just have to, um, well, basically practice a little bit to be able to uh, get your way around the track. I will have a video about uh, my progress as far as winning races in both tracks that will be coming up shortly. But for now, let's continue with the rules. So there will be three week-long seasons and they will be from March 20 to March 27, and then March 27 to April 3rd, and then April 3rd to April 10th. And here's a breakdown of the point system that will determine your place on the leaderboard for each season. And uh, so there is battle fatigue where they only count the 10 best scores of the day, but you can run as many races as you want and it will still select the top 10 of those races. So. If you're learning the track and you start out at the bottom, uh, you've got quite a while, uh, quite a ways to go to be able to get a bunch of podium places to count as your top 10. That's first, second, or third place. And that's essentially what I did on Monday. Right, so here is how the, uh, the points rack up. So for each checkpoint that you uh, run over, you get 20, 20 points for that. First place is 340 points, second place is 170, third place is 90, fourth is zero. Uh, when you get to the semifinals and the finals, uh, these points rack up. But to be honest with you, I'm not really sure about the semifinals and finals yet. Um, so here's a breakdown of what you get from season one, uh, top 1% down to participation, which is um, under top 90%. So if you just try it once and say forget it, you will at least get the um, background patch right there. And it's kind of hard to see what the icon is from this view. So let's go down uh, for participation. You get the racing track base, which is what that patch is for the participation down there. For 90%, you get 100 Racing Legends tokens and an amateur patch. Top 50% is 200 Racing Legends tokens. Top 25 is 400 Racing Legends tokens. Top 10% is 800 Racing Legends tokens and one Racing Legends crate. And the top 1% is 1,000 Racing Legends tokens and a season one championship flag. And I believe all of these add up. So you can accumulate uh, 1,000, 1,800, 2,000, 2,500 racing legends tokens just from each season so that's 7500 racing legends tokens if you finish in the top one percent in all three seasons so let's check out the season two prizes and here uh, participation is 1500 global xp rather than the patch and then again it's basically the same top 90 percent is 100 racing legends tokens uh, top 50 percent is 200 and a racer patch. Top 25% is an additional 400 Racing Legends tokens. And basically the same uh, deal here as with season one. And it's 
basically season three is identical to season two. You'll also be able to earn more Racing Legends tokens by completing missions that will automatically appear under your campaign and mission tab. So there are three ways to acquire Racing Legends tokens. Uh, one way is as we saw here at the end of every season you are awarded all these Racing Legends tokens depending on where you finish in the top 10%, top 1%, top 25%, up to 2,500 Racing Legends tokens per season. In addition to that, you can earn another 2,000, 2,500 Racing Legends tokens just by completing the missions that they're talking about here under campaign, the campaign and missions tab. Um, and then you can buy Racing Legends tokens in certain crate bundles in the store. And I do have a um, Racing Legends store items video I can leave the link to down below that kind of explains a little bit about that. But in total, you can obtain up to 14,000 Racing Legends tokens across the three seasons. And I think that's if you finish in the top 1% of all three seasons. And that's more than enough to obtain the Destroyer Bulletproof uh, for free. Make sure you spend your Racing Legends tokens. And the reason is they will be converted into credits in an upcoming update. At the rate of one Racing Legends token will equal 1,500 credits if it's the same credit conversion that has been uh, done in the past. Prizes and special content range. No competition is truly satisfying without prizes, and we have enough of those. So here, the first one, this is the one you can get for free, is the German Tier 6 Premium Destroyer Bulletproof. And it's based on the German Destroyer Z35, but it does have a lot of differences. And here they are. Uh, they did add uh, exhaust smoke generator consumables. This is basically rolling smoke. You can select this or sonar in that one slot. Uh, smoke generator consumable will swap for the engine boost. All right. Maximum speed is increased up to 41 knots. Rudder shift time is now 5.2 seconds. But here are some of the nerfs. Uh, HP is down to 18,000. Detectability range by sea is now 7.1 kilometers instead of 6.7. And by air, it has been increased up to 3.5 kilometers. Uh, torpedo speed has been increased up to 70 knots uh, from 65 knots, but the range, uh, oh boy, goes down from 9 kilometers down to 6. And the torpedo detectability range by sea is increased up to 1.4 kilometers. It did used to be uh, 1.3. A maximum damage of the torpedoes is reduced down to 11,700. And the HE shell damage has been reduced down to 1350. Uh, high octane strikes as her specialty. Try her out and see for yourself. And yeah, Bulletproof is available in the store for 12,500 Racing Legends tokens. And you can check out the Racing Legends store item video I mentioned uh, about that. And then we have Commander Guises, which you can buy with your Racing Legends tokens. And there are three of them, uh, Ominous Rider, Anthony Darby, and Ella Rossi, and they are available till the end of the update, and each of them will be uh, compatible with non-collaboration commanders of the different nations, and they'll be purchased in the store. All right, and then Perfect 10 is based on the British cruiser Plymouth, but there are a few solid changes to her stats compared to her pair. Those changes are that an engine boost consumable has been added to slot three. Uh, it's in place of the sonar. And there is an exhaust smoke generator, which is added along with sonar to slot four. So, uh, okay, so the sonar got moved from slot three to slot four, it looks like. Maximum speed is now up to 36 knots. Rudder shift time has been reduced down to 10.5 seconds. Uh, but here are the nerfs. The HP has been reduced down to 36,500. Detectability range by sea has gone up to 12.7 kilometers. Range by air has gone up to 7.9 kilometers. Firing in the smoke goes up uh, a kilometer from 5.7 all the way up to 6.7. 
uh, but a buff. Uh, torpedo speed has been increased up to 67 knots. Uh, and then some more nerfs. Armor piercing shell damage and uh, the reload time have been nerfed. The shell damage is down to 2800 and the main battery reload time is now 7.5 seconds. Perfect 10 will be exactly your cup of tea if you enjoy conducting swift warfare. She can be obtained in the store either directly or from Racing Legends crates. So yeah, if you get the Racing Legends crates, there is a percentage, um, probably like 1% or so, that uh, you'll be able to get the ship in the crate. Or it can be bought outright for 17,500 doubloons. That is $70. And then ship skins and uh, the crate here. And there are two new skins. The Red Wedge for the Helena and the Blaze for the Ganice now are also available. Uh, you can obtain them directly or try to find them inside the Racing Legends crates. Which will drop camos, commander progression items, as well as have chances of dropping the skins or the Perfect 10. As usual, the exact drop rates can be found here in these containers um all right so yeah there you go on that and again for all this stuff you can check that out in the store in my racing legends store items video but there you go race to first place and turn the tide well there you go that is the rule set for racing legends part two the new season here or the new event in 2023 let me know what you think down below this is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.